Because y'all want to talk about some goddamn football game, some goddamn basketball game, or who's gay or who's not gay. Look like y'all would stop talking about this shit after Bruce Jenner. He didn't know if you're an ugly man, you gonna be an ugly woman. <laughs> With them million dollar gowns on. Huh? I would go to the zoo. And the motherfucking zoo, I can't make a print dressed like that. But what that motherfucker can't change, he said, Hi, honey. Where do you go? He can't change his boss. Huh? That nigga ran up and said, so He a woman, but he got a fucking man voice. Man, the voice go along with the pussy. And I Oh, look, look how gorgeous she is. I don't know what fucking glass she's beautiful. Oh, you know, fucking You know what I mean? You go home let your lady look like that motherfucker. <laughs> when they go to the store to buy that shit, y'all go follow. Where you go to get your women's drunk? Who Victoria's Secret? Victoria's Secret. You know what I'm saying? You know what? It's a secret because Queen Victoria was a fucking man. <laughs> so if you a man thinking like you the queen, you better be wearing women's dogs. And you don't have to check nothing out. All you got to do is punch it up on the computer and look at that ugly mother. You know <laughs> Someone. Someone. And white folks, oh, they put it in. They just think I'm the most brilliant motherfucking way. You know why? Because they ain't been around y'all. <laughs> they ain't around y'all. They don't know how brilliant niggas are. They think this is something special. Oh, they can show that you came by being for that $150,000 from a check you can do. <laughs> then they pull you over and do what they do. And most of these motherfuckers fall for it. Before the meeting, so it's a group of us with my girl. Talk to you. <laughs> uh, Mr. Gregory, <laughs> what's the number one thing on your mind? That's a white woman that passed me that shit. <laughs> I was in last night, I was in the television, I was in the television, I was in the television, Excuse me, Mr. Gregory, are uh, you playing there next? Yeah. I just, I just bought a ticket. I want to see you. I said, you get to me. Yeah, you want to see me. He said, you know I had to change your heart. So <laughs> <laughs> somewhere. So this white boy, the white folks ask you niggas so y'all be so happy. Change your voice to 10 octaves trying to sound like a beautiful call. I'll get to that ghetto shit. What's on my mind? I'm wondering what happened to albinos after high school. They just a couple of people. They just leave. Every high school got albinos. You don't see it no more. Motherfucker ain't dead. Ain't no albino. Undertaker. Who got that Undertaker graveyard? Where did the fucking albinos go after high school? You go out and find Albano, and me and you both can integrate them. <laughs> Where do you all go? <laughs> I've had the worst jobs and the best jobs. Ain't never seen any of my own. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> Leave you the fact that you can find fucking <laughs> And people on that motherfucker today who shot him in the back 40 times. Not the way I'm I want to know where the fuck they go. <laughs>
like the white part of it. His mama was white, nigga. Like that part. <sighs> they don't make nothing about him. There you go. And he give him a pass. Motherfucker jumped over the white house fence 12 times. And they don't shoot the motherfucker. They don't let the dogs loose. Well, I'm reading in this novel last year. Those little pieces ate up a baby. I give them the motherfuckers you need at the White House. My motherfucker coming in some new the fucking plane that he made in life. Huh? And all that shit. Huh? And y'all just looking at it. And... The door was unlocked. Did you hear that shit? I, I got a son. That motherfucker ain't never had no money. The righteous mother, he got 12 rocks on his fucking door. <laughs> I said, Why well, you know all these mocks? He said, Well, we got a rock about 200 miles from here. <laughs> you know what that means? He's tired. One of the things cocaine do is make your ass tired. Huh? If you mad to a nigga that's tired up, that nigga can be fucking everybody in the block. You see, that's what that shit do. And you got to sit there and explain to this nigga. I'm not doing nothing. Well, you should be. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere, and like I said, I love reading the Bible, because the Bible break this shit down. But maybe King David, hmm? that was God to me. God loved him. That motherfucker looked up and down and saw another man's wife and dick that hard. <laughs> and sent to that bitch. <laughs> and knocked her off. <laughs> and so she said, Well, I don't know how to explain this to my husband. Tell him to get Because he's down going that north flank of the wall for you. Flank the wall for David. He fucking his wife and knocked her off. And they said, bring me back home. Brought him back home, and the crackle was so good, he didn't want no pussy while well, his men was down there dying. So he didn't fuck. Then he go back and she tell David, oh, he didn't fuck me. So we can't blame it on him. So he took care of Kill the motherfucker. They killed him. David. In the Bible, the Bible don't even apologize for that motherfucker. Right there. Can y'all read that shit and just be so fucking happy? <laughs> Glad the motherfucker to wiggle his way out. <laughs> Can't think. Well, somewhere. There's a real God. Huh? Really? You want to be scared? When they found out, told me, my son told me, you got the worst form of cancer you can have. I just, I just want to... Hey, Chan. I called Chan. I was with the woman in my house. Hey, Chan. Somebody up there fucked up. <laughs> I know I'm human. 
<laughs> and they tell me I got the worst form of cancer you can have. You know, God, I know you're busy. I blame all of these niggas on the ground. Believe you can do anything. I said, that's a whole universe. God, thank you, Tim. That's God. So here's what I'm going to say to God. I know y'all fuck me. But I also know you're God. So there's a whole bunch of niggas that deserve cancer, but I'm not wrong. <laughs> Can you give you a listener, nigga? <laughs> Did you got some of them up close to the house? <laughs> I'm not one of them. But then I turn and talk to cancer. You goddamn wills, cancer? They ain't never paid you rent or your house no Why are you scared of cancer? I said, you better get the fuck out of here. I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know if I like it, not never mess it, but this is my fucking body. I ain't never fucked with cancer. Don't fuck with me. Yeah. <laughs> you got white folks scared of you, and them motherfuckers got nuclear love, but you ain't gonna fuck with cancer, and they got nothing but a reputation. So I say, cancer, I'm gonna give you three fucking days and send it you out and get the fuck out of here, and if you don't, I'm gonna roll on your ass. <laughs> And the motherfucker heard me. The white Dr. Coffee, Dr. Krishna. He said, I heard you on Joe Madison, so so you got the word from that. He said, there's some water down in El Salvador. Hmm? Five days to wipe out anything in your mind. How many of y'all know there's a doctor in Italy can cure any form of cancer you got with bacon or something? How many of y'all know that? You know what I'm saying? Who oh, that shit out there? If me and you was in Europe tonight, and I'm selling crack, and you selling fascinating petroleum gel, your ass get more time than me. Did you know that? Do you know why? What's it called? Vaseline what? Ain't that gasoline? Y'all rubbing gasoline on your ass, putting it all in your fucking face, putting on little newborn babies and shit. That's a crime. You fucking criminal. And one of what's wrong with the goddamn job. You been soaking them in gasoline since they two fucking days old. They need to come to bed with a match and light all that shit. <laughs> See that one? Listen to my heart. Who's the little boy talking to her sister? Daddy got some good hair. Can you motherfuckers be stupid enough to believe that God makes good hair and bad hair? <laughs> Do you believe Sears and Robo makes your fucking hair? <laughs> <laughs> so why are you ashamed of it? Huh? You get in trouble being ashamed of something God gave you. Do you know what I'm saying? If you get some white doctors tomorrow, so that after 30 years of research, we have found out that nothing had cured cancer. Now, how does Shelby Bay and the Dr. Mills be deep quick? Black men ask me, can you help me lose some weight? I can help you put that shit on. <laughs> <laughs> but about it, sure I help. <laughs> the moments I do, I said, well, let me ask you something. Have any of them ever seen a fat hole? Then <laughs> follow them bitches around. <laughs> When they eat, you eat. <laughs> you've never seen a fat hole, or you've never seen an old fat person. That should let you know you got to do something about this shit. How many of y'all know I used to be 370 fucking pounds? So I ain't got no sympathy for your ass. <laughs> y'all run around talking about these little black children, they, they, they smoking pot, they doing that. Let me tell you, you niggas something. Boy, you fucking niggas will die tomorrow. 
who are you with yourself and sugar? Then we'll all be for a hard drug in six months. And you're fucking crazy. Did you hear me? You didn't sit there with sugar diabetes. You ain't can't take your shoes off because your ankles are swelled up. You ain't got to talk about who the fuck they want. That's what it is. They want the little child to fucking tennis. You don't follow them motherfuckers around. How come your ankles don't swell, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> and that now we have to be mad at a little slither, a little glee of this thing. Because you know when you check out, the niggas be mad, tell me. How come she ain't fat like the rest of them? She must be a hoe. <laughs> See us slim, slim, black woman, white woman. Go to the whole house. You don't have to participate. Just watch your bitches when they come out. You don't want to see a fat motherfucker go to the Baptist church on Sunday morning and sit next to the fucking bar. And you know God got some, this bitch's ankles be all over their fucking shoes. She grabbed my hand to 
baby's coming now. Nobody told me that when that baby comes, that pussy open up. Kansas City. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. I jumped back and I'm thinking about that big black hole. Fuck your ass. I ran out the fucking room. <laughs> Boy, I three white boys. I didn't need black. I didn't, I didn't even like them. I said, can y'all help me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the doctor asked me when I come back to that room. I said, if you go with me. <laughs> I swear to you, I went back in there. That pussy had tight enough, tighter than the E key on the banjo. <laughs> I know there's a God. <laughs> so one day the preacher asked me, he said, Big Baby, when you come to my church and play this congregation, are you find God? You ought to be like, what <laughs> Shit, I feel so bad. Ten ladies, the universe of God, gave me the privilege to have. Didn't ask me what school did I come to, what neighborhood did you live in, did you call me a nigga? Let me create ten times, man. With no bullshit. And then one day, I got to think of it. I prayed to God, to God, you can speak to me. Ten gods, you let me create. You didn't talk sweet to me. You didn't tell me that all the pussy I got. You just let me in. But then I realized, I ain't never owned a car. I didn't know the year, the make, the model, the down payment, the monthly notes, the insurance thing. And when I look at myself in the mirror, see, you most you motherfuckers look in the mirror and lie. You're looking at yourself. Lying like a motherfucker. You're looking at yourself. Leave you close your fucking eyes. <laughs> I looked at myself. I didn't even ask God to forgive me. Plus forgiveness when I put in more research and buy a fucking car and create a God's room in life. I was just giving you some person, man. Just giving you some person. I didn't know that if you as you walk up to the person and she see her head and she don't feel like it, that you can't take it. I mean, you motherfucker just took the shit. <laughs> That's why you women, all you black women, I don't let this, but all you black women are going to heaven. Because if we men turn into women, and you ask us for some pussy, we told you you're sick, and you want to, we shoot your ass. 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 And then go to the cemetery and shoot your motherfucker ass again. <laughs> black women, what you want to do? Because we're not going to have to do that in time. Come on, it's my birthday. I'm so fucked up. I don't even know I feel for my birthday. You did. You pick a big old apple pie. Put the lights out. Light cameras and you come in. God damn it, you put a light bill. <laughs> <laughs> and when that nigga get too easy, you say, do you like it? Motherfucker, well, I'm eating it right now. <laughs> you wipe the whole world, y'all go through that shit. But you should just stop it. Leave all that shit alone. Huh? The nigga gets sick, you mad at me, I'm finna get in the road. You won't stay in with him, that nigga get well. I wish I was a black man, you motherfucker, treat me like that. That if I'm about, you got six weeks to live, I would take all this shit out the house. <laughs> I turn the fucking oven on. <laughs> I turn the gas on and hope when I be able to get your ass before what you done. <laughs> Not only would I make it cold in there, I put ice on your motherfucking feet. 
Well, if you don't like me, you're going to be a pitiful when they want you. It's the same nigga, and when you get well, he's going to call you a sack of bitches. And how come you can't be like that? Get him where you got a chicken and spit it. <laughs> See, it's like white folks. See, white folks didn't know when they were fucking with us that one day they'd have homes where you can go. Hmm? What they call them homes? Personal. Personal. Now, man, you are evil, no good, stinking, fucking white. Like you, nigga. Huh? <laughs> now, in your head, you just know niggas all fuck you up. But what you didn't know, one day your ass gonna get old, you'll be in a nursing home, and because you don't pay niggas in Mexico nothing, that's my interest in the hell. And every time you see one of them niggas turn the car with that measle, your brain will tell you this nigga's gonna get you. You're not like that. But then you might in the last days of your life, you have to live in fear of something I don't even have on my mind. You like to write books about anything, about the speed of fucking trip. You ain't never wrote a book about what you think that nigga gonna do to you. <laughs> <laughs> nigga just be happy and thankful and shit, and you think the nigga trying to trick you. <laughs> Why couldn't you go back to the neighbor and tell white folks don't give us no idea? <laughs> we not like that. And this white woman, let that black woman be a nanny, let that black woman take care of the children, let that white woman cook the food, because they don't feel that shit in me. You so busy thinking like a white boy, you think I'm the most hateful motherfucker on the planet. Huh? That's what this is about. Anything they take, anything they take, this is a O2 has skyrocketed. They're talking about white folks. Hmm? folks. The number one drug state in America is Vermont. Hey, no niggas. <laughs> <laughs> no niggas there at all. That's what this bunch of things says. He's a good man, but he can't help himself. He ain't been around no niggas. He ain't had no nigga pussy. He ain't had no nigga nigga what about it. He don't know what to say, because he ain't been around no nigga. He don't know what a fucking chicken and taste like. <laughs> and you niggas can't go up there and get on his staff and teach you. Huh? Nigga, obviously you can't teach you like a living. Huh? This motherfucker ain't never seen a roach, man. <laughs> That's why you should start out with a fucking roach. <laughs> When they had that earthquake out here on the East Coast, you remember? Come on, it, 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 40 miles from, from Richmond, Virginia? Huh? That's all the effort and all that bullshit. How the fuck you call it? My house was rocking this ass. Call it in. That, the other day when that white boy killed that child, or a lion, give a fuck. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If a motherfucker got four feet and strike, I'll give a fuck if he's a tiger lion. That's it. Run your way. <laughs> sit there and, and assume what this motherfucker was. Get out of there. And white folks were just crying. They're talking about, well, well we want you to, to, to send him back to us when you find him. You ain't never had to send them fucking cops back after they didn't kill me. Huh? You know what I'm saying? But this fucking time. Huh? This fucking time. I used to be on the board of Peter. Huh? For the animals and shit. They had to deal with $75 million headquarters in Norfolk, Virginia. I'm there for the dinner, and these motherfuckers eating steak. That's what the fuck I tell you. I'm going to be your wife. Are you fucking crazy? Are you hearing me? You, white man, determined. We're not gonna hurt this, we're gonna eat the food out this <laughs> one. <laughs> so I left. And I found out what they wanted. That, that black service. What's his name? So, 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 so
We all them motherfuckers niggas be doing it. Who them niggas be doing it? I mean, them niggas be doing The white boy be doing that shit. And he like them guards behind the door with 27 high common rifles in case that motherfucker jumped out by the boy. The niggas don't have that. The motherfucker be moonwalking and they think they're that old goddamn elephant trying to slide. You understand? You understand, man? Old elephant trying to cook barbecue and all that shit. So they wanted me to go in March. On the still universities. So, right? Then I said, no, no, no. I'm going to 1932. I'm going to be fucking real. So they said to me, said, but you don't know. You black folks ain't treating them animals right. He said, what do you mean? He said, they just can't treat them. Let me tell you your ass up. They ain't got but 80 fucking animals. And six of them motherfuckers is stuffed animals. Just signed a hundred million dollar contract, white folks love him. They love him. Hey, Michael, you the man. I told Michael's lawyer, what was the right man? He said, uh, you better be careful. How they love him. Let me tell you, motherfucker, something. <laughs> I live around rich white folks. See, most of y'all ain't never saw a real black person. Just some poor ass, even fucking hawkies. <laughs> That's all you know. The neighbor across the pond from me was Steinway Piano Ale. Up the hill was fucking ocean spray. Huh? You follow me? I didn't find this fucking plant. They're trying to get me to roll up. I'm talking about the guy. I'm talking about the guy. Come! You're about to fucking be tough, man! Thank <laughs> you. 